Hi, and welcome to this week's Something Good Weekend. I'm Tony Sales Manager here at Martin Lynch and & Sons. And this week, we're gonna be looking at options for those of you that need a really small shack. What do you mean a really small shack, Tony? Yep, yeah, that's right. Some of us have to keep our radio equipment in a very, very small area, a very small footprint, whether it be the fact that we're, you know, either living in a smaller house, maybe we're operating from the shed, or maybe just because we don't want all the radio equipment hanging around. Well, you know, that's not really us thinking that, but you know what I mean. Anyway, I've marked out a small area here, which is half a meter square. And we're gonna try and see if we can pop some items into this, which will enable us to operate and speak around the world. And I say around the world because yes, it's easy to be operating on amateur radio and just grabbing a handheld, operating through your local repeater or speaking to Bob down the road or going into the car. We know that's possible, but what if you still wanna do it from the comfort of your own home? So let's see, beginning, I'm gonna take a little look at VHF, UHF. Now I say that because that's gonna be, in my eyes, kind of the smallest shack that we're gonna be able to do and maybe the easiest one to set up as well. So let's begin with these two. So we've got Kenwood's THD 75 here and the ID 52. Now we like to be impartial so I'm also going to bring out Yesu's FT5 and pop that here. Now, why have I chosen these models? It's just for the fact that they're going to give us digital capability. So radios like the THD75, the ID52 will give us D-Star access, and obviously the FT5 will give us system fusion from Yesu or C4FM. So you're looking at those and you're kind of thinking, well, that's great, Tony, and it fits within our square not a problem and we're going to be able to speak around the world well probably not as it is unless you're very very lucky and you've got a local repeater nearby and you can access that so we're going to need another item into this square which is i'll go to the right way one of these maybe a zoom spot elite which you can pop on there or one of the smaller zoom spot rpis now, obviously, these are based on the Raspberry Pi computer and they're all integrated. Just join it onto your Wi-Fi at home and that will give you access then onto the D-Star network. It will give you access as well onto a C4FM network if need be. So can I talk to the world, Tony? Yes, you can. So handheld straight into there and away you go. Oh, but I also like to listen to, you know, shortwave and stuff like that, Tony. OK, not a problem because you will get a wide receive on all of these radios here, especially the THD 75, which is obviously a firm favorite. Yes, it's, you know, can be a little bit pricey when you compare it to the other two. However, you're gonna get that shortwave receive, multi-mode and multi-band. So there we go. That's gonna get us talking to the world. Obviously, we're not gonna to have to worry about that propagation nonsense, are we? But that is a nice modern, shack in order to get you talking to people maybe just enjoy a rag chew that's a good way of doing it and it's going to be under a thousand pounds as well to do it that way right let's take these out of the way and we're going to look at hf and see where we can kind of go from there okay so hf what's going to be the options for hf well i'm not going to go into the antennas because obviously that's going to be outside and that's a whole nother video if we're going to look into that anyway do you want to operate qrp do you want to operate full power? Well, you're going to have to make that decision yourself. But let's start at QRP. What options have you got for QRP to fit into this limited shack space that we've got here? Well, what comes to mind straight away? Maybe something like a Zygu. So we've got the Zygu 6200 here. And as you'll see, completely fits into this little half a meter square shack space that I've got. Now, this is gonna give me five watts if I run it by a battery. So no problems there. Obviously the charger is gonna be a USB charger. So I'll plug it into the USB socket that I've got at home. Uh, good thing with this as well, built-in ATU. So again, we're gonna save space on here, which means I've got a little bit more room for a cup of coffee if need be. And it's gonna give me HF through to six meters, no problem whatsoever. We're just gonna to have to remember obviously about the coax run, but Plenty, plenty of room still left in this shack space. Now, want to spend a little bit more money, maybe give yourself a few more options as well. Maybe you like to operate away from the desk of your shack. 
Well, let's take a look at this. Icon 705. Now, I go on and on about the IC705, because <laughs> I love my one, I'll be honest with you. For me, this is perfect. So at home, I have a very, very small shack space. In fact, I don't actually have a shack. So I basically place my radios wherever I can. Um, and I'll normally operate them from upstairs. Um, my wife, my lovely wife, I should say, doesn't like too many wires around, etc. So I can put this upstairs, connect the coax, got the antenna outside, nice portable option as well when I'm running the 705. And I can use this wirelessly. So what does that mean? It means I can actually operate this remotely anywhere around the house or even outside of the house if need be. So I can run the remote software with the 705. This connects straight onto my Wi-Fi, as I said, and I'm up and running. So this literally, yes, fits into this little half meter square. And we'll just sit on a shelf if need be. It can go in the cupboard. It doesn't really matter as long as you're getting a bit of air. So, you know, you don't want it getting too warm. But I can do everything I want from this with a laptop, with an iPad, with a phone, with a tablet and operate. So I, I kind of put this down as a very, very modern radio because a lot of us are very busy. A lot of us, you know, don't have much room at home. And this, this is perfect. It keeps everyone happy, everyone in the family happy. So 705, great option. And the good thing with this is it will give me VHF, UHF as well. Multi-mode. Okay, moving on from here. But Tony, the 705 needs a tuner. Yes, it does need a tuner unless you're running resonant antennas but the tune is not much bigger than the radio, so it's gonna fit into that square. However, if you wanna go for another radio and you want a little bit more power than the five or 10 watts that those radios are gonna give you, I'm gonna go back to the Zygo again, just because it's a really cost-effective option. So I'm gonna to go to the G90. Now, I've also got one of these, um, which resides in the car, actually, this one, but this is my kind of go-to radio if I'm going portable as well. Um, just for the fact it's fairly robust and it comes with a built-in tuner, a standard, and it gives you 20 watts output on HF. So why do I like the G90? Again, it's going to fit into that square. The only thing I need to worry about if I'm operating from home is how am I going to get power to it. So with the new versions of the G90, you'll see it comes with the power pole connectors. So you can, if you want, run maybe one of our 30 amp hour batteries or 100 amp hour batteries and use that as a sort of self-contained power source. So if you're in the shed, again, that's gonna fit within this half a meter square, and you're gonna have your radio there and you've got your power. If not, just stop for one of our little Mydell power supplies. We've got plenty on this side power supply. So G90, great choice if you wanna go HF. Now, Tony, I like the fact that you said you could operate that 705 remotely. That's, that sounded like a good option but I don't really want to transmit. I'm not sure if I can transmit at home. You know, I'm living in a flat. It's going to be quite awkward, etc. So let's take a little look at the SDR play. Now, we've often shown these SDR plays, and what I will say is there's quite a few of these in the range. Coverage is huge. So you're looking from DC basically all the way up to sort of three gigs or so. Um, there is a new variant of these coming out very soon. Please, please, please check our website for SDR Play as well. And that's going to be a remote access version of these. So you'll be able to do like you can with the 705, but obviously only on receive. And these are great because they will give you full coverage as well when it comes to the modes that you want to listen to. So one of these, laptop, it's going to fit within this square. Again, you're going to need your power source, but it's a USB connectivity. And away you go. You've got a nice little uh, listening shortwave station. Okay, let's get that out of the way for you. now. What about if you really do like working DX and you want a little bit more power? You're kind of thinking, I don't know, maybe I need 100 watts or so. So with 100 watts, I'm probably going to opt for this kind of space. We could fit an FT710 in here. That wouldn't be an issue at all. Um, I could probably get an FTDX10 in, but I think we may be a little bit tight when it comes to that and the power supply. So I'm going to kind of revert over to the side of the remote operating again and think, well, why don't we go flex? Yes, the new flex versions will be with us very soon, so the 8600 or the 8400. So I'm gonna take a look at the Flex 6600. It's a used one, and the good thing about it being used is you're gonna save a fair bit of money, so it's not a bad option. So let's have a look at this one. So, Flex's 6600, 
non-M version. Now, I say the non-M version just for the fact that if you're trying to keep it in a very small space, you're probably going to want to operate remote. And I'm a big believer that if you're operating SDR, you're probably going to want to come away from having a screen on the front of the radio. So yes, it's very boring to look at from the front, very simplistic at the back as well. So good thing with this solution is you can just pop it away in a cupboard somewhere, kind of picture it as if you're setting up a server somewhere if you're into IT. Good thing, put it away, get it out of mind, get it onto the network and then use it. Now, I still like to have a little fiddle Tony, not a problem. Get a little flex control knob here. These are always available even with the new ones. So you've got your VFO, you can assign whatever function you want to the buttons, PTT if need be. And you've still got full control of your radio. Now, good thing with this, and like I said with the ICOM, is you can operate from anywhere in the world with the remote software. That's not a problem. So you can operate remotely from anywhere in the world. It's never gonna be a problem. Okay, so 100 watts output on this, you know, you're going to be working DX, not going to be a problem. Again, with the 710, as I said, that you'll be able to fit into here, that won't be a problem. 7300, it's going to fit into our space as well. So you, there's a lot of options. There's a lot of options. I haven't gone for mobile radios just for the fact that I believe that most of the base station radios that are around now are going to give you better performance than the, the current mobile solutions that are available. So half a meter square, you know, we've got a lot, a lot of options to go with. Okay, I'm going to move this away now. And I'm just going to say that if you are a big DXR, I think you can still get away of running a linear within this half a meter square. But let's take a look. So there we go. It's appeared just like magic. We do have a linear within our half meter square shack. Acon 1000 linear. Would I go for this option? Let's be honest with you, it's all a little bit of fun. Probably not, however, you know, another little shelf above it. We could fit a 7300 and, you know, work some DX. But probably not the best option for you. Maybe look at an SPE linear, or maybe you could even take a little look at uh, an Acom 500. Maybe it'll be a little bit more sensible about the... Uh, the space and the good thing about those linears is that they are smaller than this valve beast obviously so anyway just a little bit of fun this week as to whether you can have a fully operational shack in a very very small space i hope it's kind of given you a couple of ideas of what you might be able to do now you're probably thinking yes tony there's loads of other devices that i need again take a look at the product that you're buying see what you may use you might find that, you know, you've got this tiny little shack space. You are in the front room. The wife wants to watch the TV or the husband wants to watch the TV. Um, headphones. Don't forget headphones. You know, maybe take a look at the whole range. We've got the Pro 7s, the Pro 6s. They're going to help. Obviously, they're still going to hear your voice going out. But if it's a quick, you know, 5, 9 and thank you, it's not going to be a problem. Also, if you're running handhelds, there's Bluetooth headsets available. So take a look at the BT20 from Yesu if you're running the... FT5, or if you're running the ICOM transceiver as well, there's a Bluetooth headset available for that, which I think is the, the VS3, if I remember rightly. Okay, so those kind of things worth looking into. Again, Bluetooth headphones, great if you're just listening and you're just passing time that way. Uh, that will work with the 705. You can buy Bluetooth adapters nowadays quite easily from Amazon, which you can plug into the headphone socket of most of the transceivers around and have a listen. Obviously, there's going to be a little bit of latency there, but if it's this bit, it's not too much of an issue. Anyway, just goes to show, no matter how small your shack space is, you will be able to get on air. And please, 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 if you've got any pictures, any comments, etc., uh, sales at hamradio.co.uk. Also, leave them in the comments down below this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe as well if you've not done so since. Oh, and before we go, don't forget 30th of November. Um, on the Saturday, we've got the MONS Open Day again. You will be fed. Martin has promised us that for certain. And I'm going to promise you there'll be some special, special deals on the day. Anyway, take care. Enjoy your weekend.